Despite affecting millions of homes across the country, damp is still a frequently misunderstood phenomenon. Here at Peter Cox, we have put together this short video to help you understand if those damp patches on your walls are caused by penetrating damp or rising damp, so you can get a step closer to finally solving the problem for good. What causes penetrating damp? To understand the differences between penetrating and rising damp, we need to first understand the causes behind each. Penetrating damp is the result of water ingress from the outside of the building through an external wall and into the property. There are a number of reasons for this, including building defects, overflowing gutters, leaking or blocked pipes, damaged pointing and flashing, dilapidated or poorly installed windows, porous walls or brickwork. Aging bricks lose their ability to keep out rain penetration, while cracks in external render allow problematic water ingress. Spalled bricks and degraded mortar. Damage to brickwork can allow water to penetrate into your home. As water passes from the exterior of the building into the masonry, the water will dissolve any water-soluble salts present in the building materials. If the property is constructed with solid walls, meaning there is no cavity in the wall, then the water will eventually evaporate off into the room and the salts will again be held in the masonry or on the surface of the plaster. What causes rising damp? Rising damp, on the other hand, is the rise of moisture from the ground up as groundwater moisture is drawn up into the porous mortar and masonry of a property through a process called capillary action. The same way water rises up the stalk of a plant or the fragrance in a reed diffuser rises up the wick. There are often groundwater salts, chlorides and nitrates dissolved in this water. As the water evaporates, these salts become concentrated in the plaster and often leave a discoloured line that shows how far the water has risen. This means it is essential that plaster affected by hygroscopic salts is removed and replaced. If it isn't, these hygroscopic salts will continue to absorb moisture out of the air and cause temporary damp patches when humidity levels rise in the house. This is known as salt damp. How to spot the difference between penetrating damp and rising damp? To the untrained eye, it can sometimes be difficult to distinguish between the two forms of damp, as there is a degree of overlap in the symptoms caused by both. While both are more prominent and more commonly found in properties constructed with solid walls, they can also affect buildings with cavity walls. With rising damp, this can be due to debris in the cavity bridging the existing damp proof course or another building defect. Meanwhile, penetrating damp is also possible in cases where poorly fitted cavity wall insulation has become wet due to wind driven rain soaking through the external brickwork. Other things to look out for with penetrating damp is deterioration of paints and plaster, blistering plaster, peeling wallpaper, growth of black mould, the appearance of stains and salts on the surface of the wall, eventual timber degradation and possible wet or dry rot. However, there are a couple of key differences that can help you distinguish between the two forms of damp. Penetrating damp can attack any floor in the property and frequently you can observe water damage around the affected area on the external wall where the water ingress is occurring. You may also get mould growth if the wetting of the surface causes it to become a cold condensing surface. Rising damp will only affect ground floor walls and its signature tide mark damp staining will be up to a metre high up the wall. How to solve penetrating damp? In order to solve your damp problems, you need to understand which form of damp is affecting your home. For penetrating damp, identifying and fixing the defect that is allowing water ingress into your home is often as simple as noting where you are seeing the symptoms appear internally and then taking a look at the corresponding spot 
on the outside of the building. If you can identify the source, whether it is a leaking downpipe or porous material, then you can often apply a DIY fix using materials bought from a local hardware shop. How to solve rising damp. Fixing rising damp problems can often be resolved by installing or repairing a damp proof course to prevent capillary action creating damp problems in the home. The most common and cost effective way of solving rising damp is through the damp proof injection method where a damp proof solution is injected into holes drilled into the mortar course of the wall just above ground level. Once this solution cures, it creates an impermeable and permanent barrier that will block the rise of water into the building. Peter Cox Damp Proofing Specialists If you have identified damp problems in your property that you are unsure of how to accurately diagnose it or what the next step should be, then we would advise that you should contact a professional, experienced and qualified damp proofing expert to discuss the matter. You can then book a damp survey of your home to obtain a reliable diagnosis and treatment plan to solve the issue for good.